Yes, we are almost done with module one and we know uh, power, we know voltage, we know current and finally we need to know what energy is. So what is energy? Energy is the capacity to do work and it is often measured in joules but we measure electrical energy in kilowatt hour. So the utility companies, so the Nova Scotia power, like which we have uh, here in the province, measure energy with a watt hour meter at your house. So that will have a reading in kilowatt hours. So what is that? So one watt hour equals 3,600 joules. And if you wanted to actually calculate kilowatt hours, so that's the unit like that we often use. So we need to cal uh, we need to multiply power times hours and divide that by a thousand to get kilowatt hours. So you know how to calculate power. So power is voltage times current. And let's see how much energy I use. So um, a light bulb which is connected to 120 volts uh, draws an ampere of uh, current so that's 120 watts so if I use that for um, 30 minutes that's one half of an hour so 0 0.5 times 120 watts is like 60 watts 60 divided by a thousand so that will be the watt kilowatt hour um, of um, energy that I would have used in that 30 minutes and I will have to pay a uh, Nova Scotia power by the kilowatt hour. So that is um, for um, AC power that we often use for household um, circuits. So there's another um, energy that we use for batteries in general. So let's say if you're uh, out there buying um, batteries, so batteries are often rated in ampere hours. So ampere hours is the amount of steady current that a fully charged battery can supply for 20 hours at 80 degree Fahrenheit uh, without the voltage dropping below a predetermined level. So that is the official definition for ampere hours. So this is an example. So usually car batteries are 12 volts. So 12 volt batteries and often lead acid batteries. So 12, bat uh, 12 volt battery can uh, discharge, uh, can be discharged for 20 hours at a rate of four amperes before it voltage drop drops to 10.5 volts. So that is uh, the predetermined level that we are talking about. So some voltage, uh, so some batteries might be rated for nine volts. Some batteries might be rated for 24 volts. So if that is the case, so ampere hours is got by multiplying uh, the amperes, which is four amperes times the hours. So ampere hours, so that is ampere hours. So it is 80 ampere hours, okay? So here's another example. So a 100 ampere hour battery will provide one amperes of current for 100 hours or 10 amperes for 10 hours. Or you can, maybe you can also say that it provides like 100 amperes uh, for one hour, maybe, so something like that. So that is ampere hours, like that's how uh, you can use that for energy um, calculations. And do we have any problems here? Yes, we do. Here's an example. So how much energy does a 100 watt electric bulb consume in 45 minutes? So 100 watts is the power and 45 minutes. So in an hour, like uh, we have 60 minutes. So we divide that. So that's uh, three fourths of it. So three fourths of 100 is 75. If I divide that by a thousand to convert into kilowatt hours so it's 0 0.075 kilowatt hours so that is what uh, I consumed uh, in 45 minutes 
And here are some assignment questions for you. A 1.8 kilowatt electric heater takes 15 minutes to boil a quantity of water. If this is done once a day, what is the total energy consumed by the electric heater for 30 days? So you have power and you have minutes, so you can calculate like how much um, power or like say how much energy is consumed in a day and multiply that, that by 30, then you get the total energy consumption. A flashlight battery has a rating of 0.8 ampere hours and a lifetime of 10 hours. How much current can it deliver? So 10 hours, 0.8 you have those two numbers amperes uh, ampere hours divided by hours you get an ampere so that is the number here and how much power can it uh, give if the terminal voltage is six so power is voltage times current so you have the voltage here you know the current from the previous uh, question so you just multiply those you get power how much energy is stored in the battery in watt hours so you have power which is in watts and um, hours so you have hours as well 10 hours right so you have those two numbers then you have what hours so that is question 14 question 15 the last question for assignment 1 um, so a 60 watt incandescent lamp is connected to a 120 volt source and it is left burning continuously in an out otherwise dark staircase uh, determine a, uh, the current through the lamp so you have um, power so that is um, voltage times current and you have the voltage so if you know the voltage you will be able to calculate um, uh, current with power formula so current is done so the cost of uh, so the second question is the cost of oper operating the light for one non leap years if the electricity cost uh, is 9.5 cents per kilowatt hour so so you know it's continuously burning and you know how many days are there in one non leap year you just multiply um, uh, those uh, so you have to calculate the hours first though uh, it's not just days and uh, you know the power and uh, so once you get the kilowatt hour numbers just multiply that by 9.5 cents and then you will get the total operating cost for that incandescent light bulb that is operating continuously so that is your question 15 so you can so we have 15 questions all together for assignment one and you can either as i told you in between you can either uh, copy all these questions to a word document and then do a uh, a perfect report or a perfect assignment and submit it um, as a pdf uh, in brightspace if not you can just write it down uh, in a paper and make sure you take a good legible picture of that or scan it in a scanner and then um, you can again convert that into a PDF and upload it in Brightspace so you have um, uh, the deadlines would be uh, mentioned uh, in uh, in Brightspace and if you have any questions uh, we'll have office hours and we will also have a tutorial session so you can save all your questions for those uh, time periods actually. So uh, we are done with uh, module one and uh, the next module uh, is gonna be on uh, electrical components. If we am wrong there, it's electronic components. Um, so we will be uh, continuing um, on the next module on uh, electronics component actually. So stay tuned for that.